Delva Mendivo, directrice nationale. As the track event continues with the women's 10,000 meters. Thank you very much. just reclaiming the lead there. The Kenyan. There's six more laps still to go. As we get to see some pictures from the women's discuss through final. Which is also still ongoing in earnest, the women's discuss show final. The lead, of course, uh, is currently held by Nigerian Amechi Obwagiri after three attempts, throwing 58.21 meters. In second place is Morinora Atim of Cameroon, 55.94. And another, Ni another Nigerian, Anumba Ashley Fioma, 54.88 in third position after three throws. The defending champion, Chioma Onyekweri, is currently in fourth position. So it's not looking good for the defending champion, but of course, with three more throws remaining, who's to say, who's to, he cannot rule her out just yet. Defending champion, games record holder, African record holder, Chioma Onyekweri is still in contention. At the moment is the South African, Senegal Ishke, and back on the track is the Kenyan who has taken the lead. Jeanette Chepingetich and one Ethiopian has dropped by the wayside and it's just left with two Ethiopians right now I think it's uh, Aberu Ayana so at this point it's gold for Kenya at this point <laughs> it's gold for Kenya silver so it's Melissa Aberu Ayana who has dropped out so yes Kwame you are absolutely right this right now is gold silver bronze what is to be determined is how they will finish <laughs> who guess what exactly uh, but it's guaranteed now for these three finish the race and get a medal just finish finish, just finish. the race and get a medal but uh, as far as they are concerned I'm not sure it's just about finishing anymore. No. Nope. Because that is a continental rivalry that you're looking at. Exactly. Exactly. So at this point, you're beginning to think with just about four more laps to go, what do I do? What do I do? Do I go for the kick? Or just Certainly. hold on? Or just hold on? Certainly, with uh, four laps to go, it's a little too early. So that's uh, in the lead at the moment is uh, Kefale Belu. Kefale Belu, where there is more used to road running. She's a she finished in the top eight at the World Cross Country Championships, and uh, she's ranked 63 in the women's 10,000 meters. So she's not a top, top, top. 10,000 meter runner not at all but she is in here and she is angling for a medal we are lapping the Sierra Leonean twice but like I said big credit for her for even trying attempting to go around the track 25 times that is incredibly brave from Theresa Gakko 
absolutely incredible. I mean, knowing very well that she was going to be up against the Ethiopians uh, and the Kenyan in the race. It was always going to be a big ask. She's going to be loved again. But I guess the experience would mean a lot to her. And well, 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 look at that. You can tell that they're up in the ante now, and they surely look at Jeanette Chapin gets it. She's running with great determination. And she herself is typically a uh, cross country runner. Jeanette Shepingetich. Not too many laps to go. 31 minutes they have been on the track. Yeah, so and certainly now that is way past the uh, any record whatsoever. But they still got about and here they're measuring each other up right now it's uh, this is gonna get very frantic very very shortly and that's the shopping get it is looking at the finish line up there but it's a uh, Kefele Belu Wede who is pursuing her with great determination and now surely Tika Namari has been left behind it's gonna be a two horse race and that's the bell it's gonna be between Jeanette Chapingetic and of course Kefale Belu it's Kenya against Ethiopia as we've seen in every long distance race over the last 50 years it's always Kenya against Ethiopia well, the African Games record belongs to the Kenyans. The world record belongs to the Ethiopians. And that's what it is. But look at that. It is uh, Bellew. Uh, Bellew coming strongly. Bellew has overtaking Chapingetic as they approach the, uh, the home straight. But Chapingetic is not relinquishing the lead just yet. Chapingetic is taking over value is struggling she's running with every sinew of energy in her but it's not gonna be enough it's not gonna be enough it is jumping get it jenna jumping get it runs away with it crosses the line and is gold for kenya ethiopia will have to settle for the silver medal and the bronze jenna jumping get it she ran out there all by herself alone the only kenyan on this track there were as many as three ethiopians and she has beaten them all ridiculous wonderful from janet shopping celebrations will be ringing deep into the night from Nairobi to Mombasa she has done it with three Ethiopians breathing down her neck Janet Chapin gets it has shaken up all the pressure and she has won gold for Kenya wonderful victory and yet again the green red and black of the East African country will be flown here in Accra down in West Africa with the humidity over 70 percent and temperatures soaring at 32 degrees nothing compared to anything that's in Nairobi at the moment Chapin gets to just come here and she has dominated the field Kwame ridiculous victory ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and no wonder she gets the loudest share of the night what what a final lap there what a final lap i mean at some point it, it did appear that the ethiopians were going to nudge her out but she just 
went for it on the final lap. Gave it absolutely everything. What a performance. And just like you said, there will be loads of celebrations in Eni, in uh, Nairobi, in Mombasa, or in Kisumu. All the big towns in Kenya, they'll be celebrating this one. What a performance from Janet to win this one. And it's not just the fact that she won, it's the fact that she beat the Ethiopians to it. All three Ethiopians, all three of them. Look at this, at this point, look at the replay. At this point, it looked like Belly who had enough in her, but just by judging by Belly's face and looking at the determination from Japan, you just knew she had it. And at this point, on the home straight, well, Belly knew Chapin gets it was not looking back. She was not to be denied. It's a wonderful, wonderful victory from the Kenyan Janet Chapin gets it. African Games champion. Ah, uh, my word. She has deserved it. She's run an excellent race. As she thought.